Hello, my fitness friends. My name is Natasha. Welcome to my channel and to Mobility and Sculpt. The last class I released a couple weeks ago was so popular, I decided to write out another one. I'm so glad you all enjoyed it. Let's start in a turtle shell position with your feet out and you're gonna wrap your arms around your legs and let your head fall heavy. The only props I think you might need is a yoga mat or maybe something bigger. This is my GXM mat or just some space around you. Water and a towel in case you get sweaty or thirsty. But other than that, it's just body weight today. So gather your things. You can always hit pause. That's the beauty of doing this with me online. All right, as you drop in, see if you can round your spine and let your head kind of fall either by your knees or in between, depending on how tight you can fold up. No judgment here. Just get comfortable and start to take some deep breaths into the back and sigh out the mouth. <sighs> let go of your day. Come into this moment and just start to take some deep, energetic breaths. <sighs> Try to let go of distractions in your mind and around you. Just focus on the sound of your breath, the feeling of expanding into your lungs, opening up into the back and sides of the body, and sighing out the mouth. Maybe it's audible. <sighs> And you just allow yourself to relax, be present. Focus on moving your body in ways that feel good for you. There's no judgment if something doesn't feel good. Change it up, skip it, modify it. Have a playful mindset and just have fun. All right, let's go ahead and take our hands back and press a little bit of weight into your fingers. Good, and then lean into them, stretching out to the wrists. Good. Then grab onto your hamstrings. We're gonna cat around the spine, lean back, and cow, arch the spine, squeeze your shoulder blades, push the chest forward. You can gaze up if you'd like. Round, exhale, inhale. Pull forward, exhale, stretch back one more time. Pull forward, shoulder blades back, and then set those hands down again. You can flex and point and circle out the ankles a little bit. Maybe pick up those feet, circle out your ankles, and then pick up those hands, flex and point your wrists. Tight circles with fists, out and in, and then blinking out like you're flicking water off your hands. Try to go faster and faster. Try to lift your hands over your head, feeling your core and your shoulders and stretching into the sides of the body. And then we'll take some lateral stretches, moving from side to side. If it's more comfortable to send your legs further away from your body, that's okay. And just go ahead and linger if you need to or move a little quicker. All right, again, put those hands down, maybe fingers pointing backwards, and we're gonna windshield wiper the hips and knees from right to left, up and over. One hip gets to externally rotate while one hip is internally rotating, finding some depth and flow in there. Then we'll bring our feet together and try to pry your knees apart, your butterfly stretch, you can open and close, open and close, and we're going to start to spiral this side to side, still just warming up. Draw your left knee to your right knee in a gentle twist, and open to butterfly, and then right knee stacks on left knee, push the shoulders down, and just go back and forth forth a couple times using your breath. Exhale, engage the core muscles. Open and zip. Butterfly and stack two more times. 
And last time, right to left, butterfly, stack, twist. Butterfly, stack, and twist. All right, we're gonna come to our first sequence and shake out those wrists. We're gonna incorporate abdominals and that windshield wiper um, knees to the side and we're gonna try to lift our hips up. We'll also do a bridge coming down to our back. So give yourself space behind you. Go ahead and reach your hands forward, lean back a little bit into this boat. We're gonna do a one-legged boat. So maybe your tiptoes are softly on the floor, stretch your right leg up. And I know your hamstrings might be a little tight, so if you wanna just try to breathe into the flexibility, bend and straighten the first time. And then just using your own strength to hold the leg as high as you can. We're gonna roll back. You can counter the balance by pushing your leg down. And then as you lift the leg back up, put your head down, pop the left foot in tight so you can peel off the spine in a bridge, starting to activate your hamstrings and your glutes and pull your ribs down, squeeze your butt up, roll down the spine, tuck your chin. This is gonna take a little bit of a rock. You can rock to get up. Now, that right foot is up. We're gonna spin our knees to the right, that position we did in the warm up, and then you're gonna try to lift your hips and lower your hips. If that is a struggle for you, push into your hand and lift and lower your hips there. Come back to the center point. All right, toes down, chest tall, lean back, left foot up, and then just to Bring a little bit of flexibility into the hamstrings. You can stretch out by straightening, pulling, and then your strength and mobility take over wherever that is. No judgment. It might be lower than mine. That's okay. It might be higher. Here we go. We're going to roll back. The leg kind of counterbalances and pushes forward. Right foot hops in close to the butt, and then we push into this glute bridge hip thrust. Your knee can be bent, straight, just focus on squeezing that bottom leg side. So that hamstring, glute, back. Roll down, tuck your chin, and then rock yourself up. Turn your knees, both knees swivel left, and hip thrust, or push into that hand if you need the help. All right, so you're stretching here as you pull your hips forward. Counterbalance by hinging, shoulders forward, butt back, and then spiral home. Let's try that two more times, moving a little quicker. Right leg up, roll onto your back. Try to control the move. Put all your heel, left heel in, and squeeze up to your bridge glute thrust. Squeeze, roll down, tuck your chin. Ooh, try to pull yourself up, rocking's okay. Then sweep your knees to the right and Lift up through those hips, squeeze, come back through, left leg up, roll down, hop your right foot in and glute, bridge, squeeze, hips up, hamstrings on, squeeze your butt, roll down, tuck your chin and roll up, use momentum, that's okay, and then pull your knees to the left, lift up through the hips, balancing on the shin and the knee, and then come back through. Good, last time we'll just add some glute pulses at the bottom and then we'll move on. Right leg up, abdominal roll, take your time. Good, walk your left foot in, hands can be over the head or down by your hips. Here we go, we're gonna pulse eight, seven, six, five, here's the sculpt, here's three, two, one, roll down, squeeze to lift. Can you pick up your left foot too? And then swivel both knees to the right and lift. Hips up, arms up, hips down, arms down. Come back to the center, left leg. Squeeze it up, use your abdominals, roll down. Walk your right foot in and squeeze your hips up to bridge. Eight pulses go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, just a couple inches, and one. Roll down, sweep it up, 
Try to pull up your right leg too into a half boat, half straight, half bent, half straight, squeeze, abs. Swivel your knees to the left and pull those hips up. Inhale up, arms up, exhale, pull down. All right, drill two, pop onto your feet. This is a yogi squat also known as malasana. It doesn't work in every body, so if your heels can't relax to the ground, that's okay. You might be elevated on your toes a little bit. And if you can't drop your hips this low, do just do it where you can. Another option I'll show you is to do this in a squat chair position instead of this deep yogi squat. But let's practice it first from here. We're gonna try some side-to-side -side crunches. So you're gonna twist your right um, shoulder to your elbow and then stack and then your left shoulder to your elbow and then stack dive your hands down lift your hips and straighten your heels behind your toes just a hanging wide leg fold relax your head try to lift up through the tailbone a good stretch for the hamstrings and then turn your heels in and squat back down all right so we'll take our side crunch and you could go really deep there. You could try to touch your elbow to the ground, your shoulder to your knee, wherever you want to go. Then pull your toes forward and dip into a fold. This time maybe you reach your arms upward as your head falls heavy. Inhale and exhale. Turn your toes out, malasana. So we have a side to side dip, crunch, crunch, and then toes forward forward fold. Practice maybe dipping into your toes, squeezing those arms up and engaging your core to balance. One more time from here. We have our side tap, side to side, and our deep forward fold. Bend and straighten the knees, press into your toes and your heels. All right, this time sit in a chair lift up into chair and you can bring your hands behind your head and we'll do the same thing side crunch uh, shoulder to knee shoulder to knee this time we're going to do a half fold dip into your toes okay so we're going to go half fold folding chair belly on thighs then lift the heart side dip twisting dip and halfway fold. All right, let's try that a few times. So halfway fold to folding chair, arms back, arms forward, belly on thighs. Here's your folding chair. Then lift the heart but stay low and take a twisting elbow to knee or shoulder to knee. Oh, my legs are on fire. And then halfway fold. Two more. Belly on thighs. Hands behind ears, twist right, twist left, halfway fold, charge into the toes. Folding chair, into your heels, belly crunches on thighs. Lift, side, whew, side, and halfway fold. Drop it all the way down, relax your head. Swivel like a pendulum, side to side. How did that go? All right, go ahead and drop back down. We're gonna come into, uh, back to seated for this one. So, give me a gentle spinal twist before we move into it. All right, so pretty easy, but you do need to be able to get into a tight compression to try and take one leg back and forth here. So we'll play with it and see if it works. If you have trouble doing that move, you could always just lift and lower your hips, okay? Always options to work your way there. All right, so we're gonna come into that boat again, and we're gonna take some Russian twists. Hands go right, knees go left. And let's just stay here and get this move down. Get our abdominals fired up. And then we'll break it down and add the kickback. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna take right, left, right. Take your opposite hand and foot down. 
So left hand, left foot out. We're gonna pick up your hips. You can stay here. Sweep the foot back. Maybe an elbow tap or a hand tap. And then open into a twisting lunge. It's okay if your hand and foot are kind of wide there. Open and come back through. Kick through, you're ready for your other side. We're gonna go left, right, left. Put your right hand and left foot down. Right foot is out, lift your hips, okay? You can stay there. Or lift, slice that foot back by pulling your shoulders forward. Elbow tap if you like, and then spiral, twisting lunge. All right, so kick back where you came from. It doesn't matter if it's perfect, just have fun playing with it. So listen up, we're gonna take four of these little swivels, or three, and then opposite hand down. So practice with me. We have hands to the right, legs to the left. Three, two, one, and then your left hand go, goes down, left foot spirals back. We twist our right arm up, come back, forward, kick through, all right? So we're gonna go hands right, left, right. Oh, I messed that one up because we started on the right. Now we're going to the left. What's gonna happen? Don't worry about it. So boat, we have left, right, left, right hand down, right foot kicks back and twist. Come back low if you want, like a lizard lunge and then kick the foot through the open space, all right? So we'll go right, left, right, and then left, right, left. Let's try it. Hands go right, left, right, left hand down, left foot kicks back. Open into your twist, reach your arm back and your heart up, come back through. Now we have left, right, left, right hand spins over, the right foot stretches back. Lizard and twist, heart up, hand reaches back. Let it feel good. Maybe your head even drops towards your bottom shoulder. Kick it back, boat. All right, let's do two more. So we have hands right, left, right, left hand down, left foot slice back. Open your twist, heart up, reach back for your toes. Drop your head towards your shoulder, last one. Look forward, kick forward. Now, left, right, left, right hand, right foot, back. And twist, reach, drop head. Spin, 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 kick the right foot back where you started. We got it? All right, don't feel bad if you don't get everything. Sometimes some moves might be confusing for your body and that's okay too, it's just about finding the movement that feels good for you. All right, we're gonna spin onto our knees, coming down to a kneeling position. The one part of this might be a little tricky, so we're gonna practice it. All right, come onto your knees, your shoulders over your hips. We're gonna take a camel hinge back. A hinge is trying to pull your weight back with a straight line, working your quads and your core. But you're also gonna feel your hamstrings and your glutes. So kind of that whole body balances back, stretches back. Good, then stepping the right foot forward. We have a low lunge. You can sink your low lunge and then stack your low lunge. Slide your heel forward and try to come down to a half split. Be very mindful of your hamstring. You might need to bend the front knee. All right, let's just do that part and then we'll add on the last little side lunge part. Lift, pull your knees back, hinge back, squeeze, try to make your waistline small. <sighs> Cinch it up, step your left foot forward, sink your lunge a little bit, zip your lunge up, pull your hips forward, stack your hip over your knee, straighten out the left foot and then try to fold. You don't have to touch the ground. You could just balance your fold unless you feel comfortable putting maybe fingertips down and bending your knee. And lift, come back. I'm gonna add on this time. Hinging camel, reach back. Woo, make sure you can get back up. Step the right foot forward, sinking lunge. 
Then stack your hip, half split, hips back, heart forward. All right, you're gonna tuck your back toes under, your left toes, I'm not mirroring you, so listen to the cue. All 10 toes are gonna spin left, and your right knee, your front knee, is gonna bend into a side lunge. So you could take your hands inside, hinge back, spin left, bend the right knee, side lunge. Then you need to spiral back, bend the back knee, and step it together, okay? Let's practice. Hinge back, hips forward, squeeze the abs, the quads. Left foot steps forward. Low lunge, sink, stack, and then hinge, half split. While you're in your half split, stretching your hamstrings, try to tuck your back toes under. Bring your hands to the right, and then turn all 10 digits of your toes right, bend the front knee. Side lunge or skandasana if you take yoga. And maybe you're up on your toes, that's okay too, like a toe stand. Spiral back, your back knee bends and your front knee straightens as your toes start to go back where they came from. Yes, lift and reset your kneeling camel hinge, all right? We got it, let's go ahead and start to flow it a little faster. Camel hinge, lean. Oh, squeeze, right foot steps forward. Lower, lift, half split. Tuck your left back toes under. Bring your hands inside. All 10 toes swivel left and your right knee bends. And if you have the depth to maybe sit and spiral back without hands, always an option. Come back through, bring your knees to meet. Hinge back. Oh, big on the quads. Left foot glides forward, sink, zip, flex and hinge. We have half split. Front knees bent, back toes are gonna curl under. Turn to the right, bend the front knee instead of the back knee. Side lunge or maybe more of a toe stand. Then try to come back, use your hands or try not to use your hands. Half split and come back. Should we do that one, one more time? You can always choose to rest too. All right, hinge back, right foot forward, lunge, zip, hinge, half split. Tuck your back toes under, swivel to your left, side lunge, swivel back home, and kneel. All right, last one. Hinge back, squeeze, oh, left foot slides forward. Low lunge, zip, hinge, half split. Tuck your back toes under, spiral everything to the right, left knee bends, side lunge, spin back, back to kneeling. Our next move starts in downward facing dog. Meet me in down dog, start to pedal, pedal, maybe sway your hips. All right, this one's not as complex, just a few moves. We're gonna take a down dog twist. You're gonna reach your right arm to your left leg here. Maybe you can grab the ankle, maybe not, that's okay. So from your down dog twist, we're gonna try up dog on toes. You might need to crawl your hands a tiny bit forward to open up the move, especially if you have a tight back. Crawl forward and drop your hips, all right? Now push the shoulders down, puff the chest, Try to straighten the knees out, try to hover. And then as you pop your hips up, your right knee is going to drag into pigeon. Looks like this. Up and pull. All right, let's hang out in pigeon for a few rounds of breath before we start to move a little faster. Let your right hip externally rotate. Let your left hip flexor and quad get the stretch. You can practice stacking your shoulders or melting into the fold. Let's go back to the other side. Tuck your left toes, press into those hands and pull your right foot back. Downward facing dog, reset. Left hand to right ankle or whatever you can reach for. It could be down on the ground. 
Take a breath as you kind of gaze through under your right armpit. It's firmly pressing the right hand and shoulder down forward. All right, now walk forward and swing those hips down. Up dog on toes. It's a pretty deep back bend, so just go where it feels okay for you. Try not to let your shoulders sink. Shoulders down, heart through. Now pop the hips up and pull the left knee towards the left thumb. Here's your pigeon. I'm gonna take a couple breaths. Again, squeeze the glutes, stack your shoulder or melt. Catch the breath or just deepen the breath. And we're gonna go through this a little quicker and we'll add a little seated twist after the pigeon. All right, hands down, tuck your toes behind you and glide into downward facing dog. Let's move a little quicker. Right hand towards left ankle, spin and gaze up. You can bend your elbow to pull if you have that space. Crawl forward, up dog. Drop your hips, inhale. And exhale, right knee glides forward, pigeon. You can release the back toes. Here's your little last add-on. We're gonna take this left foot and try to pull all the way around the right knee. Make a little space for your left sit bone and twist gently to the left. So here, I wanna use our abdominals for the twist, not just leverage of pushing into your uh, leg and fingers, if that makes sense. We're gonna try to actively use your core to pull the arms apart and twist using your abs and it might look like a little pulse. <sighs> All right, come back, the left leg glides back, tuck your toes under, put your hands down and step back to down dog. Let's do that again. Right hand towards, right, uh, sorry, left hand to right ankle. Breath. Crawl forward, up dog. A breath. And scoop up your left knee forward as you lift the hips. Pigeon, release the back toes. Now sit off to the left as your right foot pulls all the way around. You might need assistance of your hands you might be able to do this without hands. Move your heel away enough until you can try to let your right sit bone land. And then first you can twist with some leverage using your fingertips and forearm and outer thigh. Nice deep breath with a straight spine and then little pulsing twists. Pull your arms apart and use that as an oblique crunch. Four, three, Two, it's quite hard, one. All right, the right foot sweeps back and we bring our hands and toes down, down dog. Let's do it one more time. We're gonna move a little quicker if you'd like. Down dog twist, right hand towards left ankle. Walk forward, up dog on toes. Right foot pulls forward, pigeon. Left foot pulls around, twist to your left, pulse four, three, two, one. Left foot glides back, step on the toes and the hands, push back to down dog. Last time, left hand, right ankle, twisting down dog. Up dog on toes. Left foot pulls forward, push the shoulders down, squeeze the core, pigeon. Right foot slides around, with or without hands, drop the right sit bone, twist to the right, pull, pulse, four, three, two, one, whoo, how'd that go? All right, from here, we have a kneeling exercise, just four more, few more to go. You're gonna take your left heel under you and step on your right Foot, all right, it's a kneeling or crouched positioning. You have the opportunity to try to handstand and jump on the hands. It doesn't have to look like a full handstand. It could just be a baby hop. All right, so you're pushing off your right foot and you're gonna bring your hands down. Spread your fingers, 
Try to push the shoulders down and keep your elbows straight, all right? So as you lift, jump off the right foot, come back to the kneeling shape, but glide your knee a little further back. We're gonna cartwheel our left hand back to a lunge camel, all right? Instead of the hinging camel, this time we're gonna try to get more of a back bend. So you might tuck your toes under and try to push your fingers into your toes and lift your heart. We did the up dog, so that was a good um, warm up for it if you are able to back bend. All right, then from here, take it back into the right foot. It's a little bit of a standing split, trying to kick those toes high, even if it doesn't look like a split. And finally, a fire hydrant. You're gonna use your abductors to pull that leg to the side, and then maybe you balance your hands to heart center or airplane toe tap, and we'll switch the kneeling position. Oh, heavy on the legs, all right? We'll try it a few rounds each side like we've been doing. Right knee is bent, left foot is pressing down. It's okay if you can't do a handstand, but if you can, go for it. All right, so you are rocking into your hands and you're gonna jump off your left foot, but keep that left foot low. So we don't wanna kick all the way up so hard that we flail or uh, tip ourselves over. It's a strong hop off the left foot and come back down. When you come back down, pull the knee a little further back and try to cartwheel back to this half camel, half lunge, some kind of shape. Even if you can't reach your heel, you can press your hand back and try to do a little back bend. Whew, lift. All right, now hands back in front of you, right toes to sky, your standing split, squeeze. Energetically, wherever that leg goes, and then out to the side of the hip, abduction. You can airplane your arms out. You can bring your hands to your chest. Squeeze that leg to the side. Use your outer hip glute and obliques. All right, now come down to kneeling from the top this time. Left knee bends, right foot lands. Let's do this twice more. Right and then left. So we're going to jump on the hands and then take it to that half camel, half low lunge. Lean into those toes, lift the hips, little hop. Land on the right foot, knee a little bit away. Cartwheel into your half camel. Swivel forward into your standing split. Take that leg lateral and try to balance. Airplane, oh, and stand. All right, last one. You're going to bend the right knee, step on the left knee, crouching position. Rock into your hands, lift your hips, jump up. Land right knee a little bit further back, cartwheel into your half camel. Lift your arms, bring your hands by your front toes, kick your right leg up, standing split. Squeeze your back at the body, back at the legs, and then abduct, fire hydrant, leg goes lateral. Try to reach your arms up lateral too. Oh, and lift. All right. Whew, might be a good place for a sip of water. We have three more exercises. One is a right and left side. Um, so four more little flows to go, well three. All right, this one, we start in a prone position, come all the way down to your belly. This one's gonna take some upper body strength. Listen to the cues. We're gonna start with a skydiver, which is essentially bow pose without grabbing on. You're gonna bend your knees and lift your knees and your chest up. Then press your hands and toes down. Right foot is going to pull under, drop your hips. And then right foot is going to go over, 
for crab reach. Drag your left foot in and reach your right arm over your head. Lift your hips, squeeze your butt, come back, left leg straightens, and just go back where you came from. Come back to the belly, all right? Try to make it as strong and graceful as you can. Skydiver, inhale. Push and thread the left foot through, under, and across. Dip your hips. Then that leg drags over. Step on both feet, lift your hips, crab reach. Frame your head with that left arm. Lower and straighten out the right leg. And spiral back through push up to the mat. All right, let's move it through. A little bit quicker each time and more fluid. Here we go. Skydiver, reach, push away, right foot threads under, sink your hips, drag, flip over, walk your feet hip width, back bend, or just like a reverse table, crab reach. Left foot long, almost like a side plank, and both hands come down, melt to the ground. Skydiver, left foot pulls up into plank, thread it across. <sighs> Dip your hips, cinch up your waist, take the foot out and over, feet to right foot drags in, reverse table, crab reach, right foot drags out, step around, lower. All right, if you're up for one more, I'm gonna move quick on this one. Inhale, skydiver. Press away, right leg under, hip dip, right leg over, step in, crab reach. Walk your left foot out and pull your right hand and foot down. All the way on the belly, skydiver. Grow, reach it up. Push away, left foot threads under and across. Dip your hips, lift your hips, left foot over and above. Crab reach, stepping on both feet. Good, walk your right foot out. Left hand, left foot, spin. Come back to your belly. How did you do? Press back into child's pose. And when you're ready, come all the way up to kneeling. All right, that one was a bit on the hands, so the next one we are doing all from standing. Go ahead and wiggle out your fingers, a little compression on the top of the wrist. We only have two more exercises, um, but like I said, the last one, we just have to do a right and left side to it. Okay, we're almost there. Here is a kind of a standing leg mobility work. You're gonna take a figure four, I'll mirror you. So take your right leg, cross it over the left, and try to sit in a figure four chair for that right hip externally rotating. Only sit as deep as it feels good for your hips. All right, from your figure four chair, you're gonna try to shrimp squat. And if that's not for you, or you can't bring your knee all the way to the ground, it could look more like a lunge for you. But you're going to try to pull your shoulders forward, tap your knee down, and bring it right back up. All right, and then finally, you're going to step that foot out and go into a side squat. It doesn't have to be deep. It could be shallow, okay? So make this your own. Left leg, I do have one more part to add. We'll do that after this one. Okay, so left foot, figure four. First time, take your time to externally rotate that left hip. Try to sit into your chair, engage your core for some balance. Take some breaths. Then you have your shrimp squat. The key is to pull your shoulders forward and your knee taps the ground. And it's okay if it doesn't look like that or it's not as deep and you don't actually tap down. Then take a big side step to your left and take that side squat. Good, cross it. It doesn't have to go all the way down. Maybe it's just hit behind knee and then drag together. 
All right, the last little part, optional add-on, would be from your side squat to slide into a slide plank and back, okay? If you're low enough to the ground to do so. Okay, let's try it back and forth a couple more times. Right leg, figure four. Right leg, shrimp squat. Right leg, side lunge. Put that right hand down and try to step across to a side plank. Back through side lunge and then all the way together. Drag it in. Left leg, figure four. Squat it low if you can. Shrimp squat, maybe that knee taps down and up. Side lunge, left leg, left knee, left hand. Slide the leg through, some kind of side plank variation. Drag it back and then all the way up, two more. Right foot, figure four. Shrimp squat. Oh, side lunge. Side plank. Side lunge. Lift it up. Left. Bring it around, figure four last time. You can always repeat any of these if you want more practice. Shrimp squat. Side lunge. Bring that left hand down, drag the foot through, side plank, come back through, and rise. You made it. We have our last exercise. This one is going to take us down onto our side. All right. So let's go all the way down. You guys can mirror me, left side body. You're going to stack your knees maybe towards the front edge of your mat or slightly diagonal. Rest your, fore, your head on your forearm like a pillow and take some breaths here. Okay, so we're doing a side, side lay, push away into a hip thrust and we'll add on um, some hip lifts. All right, so bring that hand under the elbow. This one's for the triceps, you're going to push the bottom hand into the floor. You should feel that right on your tricep. Let's do that a couple of times to get that tricep active. Lift and lower, lift. Now the bottom hand goes under the shoulder and we're gonna scoop up the hips. Let's do that a few times. Hips thrust. I want you to squeeze your lower oblique and push away. Then try to lift and stack. And let's do three of everything. We'll put it all together and lift. All right, then from the lifted star, you're going to spiral your elbow down and spiral your chest up. Spiral down, lift and pull the arm behind the shoulder. Spiral and fly. All right, lower your hips. Your top right arm is going to lower you to the ground. As much control as you can, okay? Relax that left bottom wrist out. And let's try it again. And we'll just keep flowing it, all right? So your tricep push away. Switch hands, lift those hips. Lift into a star, spiral your elbow down, lift and fly your arm behind you, spiral down and open, pull it back. Your top arm takes you down. We got it? Let's do it again. Push away, switch hands, hip cinch, then star. All right, hand can go behind your head, Spiral elbow down, and then hand reaches behind the shoulder. Spiral elbow down, arm reaches behind the shoulder. Sink your hips to stack your knees. Top your right hand, bend the elbow, and try to come down. Let's do that one more time. Push away. Switch hands, cinch up that waist, then star. 
hand behind head, spiral down. Lift, strong abduction, chest opens, stack and twist, lift, reach behind you, and bring both hands down and the hips down. All right, you're gonna bring your chest to the ground for four, three, nose to the ground, two, and one, push and spin your legs to the other side. Counter stretch that top, that now top arm, which is your left. Shake out that wrist, and we'll do our very last sequence, and you've already seen it. So meet me there in a side leg position. Stack your ribs, hips, shoulders, knees. Your top hand is going to do the push away for your triceps. Are you ready? Here's three big push aways. Your bottom hand can be a training wheel or you're gonna try to not use it at all. Three, it's pretty hard. Two, slow lower, try not to crash. Three, and then this one we add on. So we lift and then our bottom right hand pulls our hips away. Three, push away. So push your hand forward and your hips away from your hand. And one, now stay up and add your star, lift. All right, just that star for three, for two, for one. Now your elbow spirals down while your leg is abducted out there. Open up your left top arm, thread it down. Keep a strong outer thigh, hip ob uh, obliques, the side of the abdominals, spin back. And release your hips. Your top arm is the one that's going to take you to the ground. So your left elbow bends and you restack. All right, so we are down to just one of each move a few more times. Catch your breath. And let's go. Push it down. Exhale. Switch hands, hips thrust. Inhale and then star. Take your elbow downward. Oblique crunch and then open upward two times there. Twist and spin. Stack your hips, lower your left top hand, takes you to the ground. Good. Do that two more times. Push, switch hands, hip thrust, lift to your star, spiral your top elbow down, back, down, oh, back. Stack, hips down. Take your, your bottom elbow can bend, but then your top elbow lowers you. Uh, one more, one more, we have it. Push away. Switch hands, hip thrust away. Now lift to star. Hand behind the head, spiral down. Open it out. Spiral down. And open it out. Yes. Come back. Sit the hips down, twist both hands to your right, bend your elbows, base nose to the ground, four, three, two, one, tuck your toes, pull your knees under your hips, big cat back, shake out the head, and exhale, child's pose, relax. Sway your hips and your ear side to side. Maybe some child's pose, sweeping arms across from right to left. Stay as long as you'd like. Maybe end with some nice deep breathing, some neck release. And I just want to say thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that class. Let me know how it went for you in the comments. A like and a share and a subscribe go a super long way and are much appreciated. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.